Hello everybody, I am Red King from Cinema Robots, and welcome back to Space Engineers. So, today is actually Friday. Uh, I actually missed the actual update date yesterday, that was due to some <clears throat> technical issues on my part, but I'm going to get through this uh, update now for you guys and put it out now. Uh, so then hopefully you can reference it later and check it out. So, today's update is really, well, yesterday's update was really cool. Um, as you can see, it's got a list of things right here, but we're going to go over all of those right now. Uh, first, we're going to go into Load World. Well, first we'll go to New World, because then you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, you go to Custom World, and we're going to go into an Advance. So in Advance, you can see where it says Default uh, Cooldowns. And that's so when you have uh, Respawn Ship Cooldowns, you can actually set up how long it takes so people can't spam them and actually use them for a resource hub. Or, uh, as you can see, you can do it... <coughs> Uh, twice as fast, five times as fast, 10, 20, 50, or you can even slow it down. Or you can disable the cooldowns. That's kind of, it's kind of a neat little feature so that people can't spam them for resources if you're trying to do survival, which is really nice. Uh, but we're actually going to go into the world I have set up. It's this one right here. Uh, first we're going to edit the settings. We're going to edit the mods. And I just want you all to see there's only two mods in there right now. I believe I have another... I'm going to put this one in, because they did it for uh, the update as well. It's kind of an example of how they updated the APIs for uh, Space Engineers as well, as how people are able to mod blocks for their own use, but we'll get into that as I get into there. Uh, okay, and then we'll go into the world. Downloading mods. Yeah, so today's update is actually... Well, yesterday's... God, I keep saying today because I'm used to doing it on Thursdays. Uh, but it's actually meant for... Uh, it's a heavy mod one. It's not too specific. Uh, there's also a very nice surprise in this one. And if you remember looking at my mods, I only had three of them. I had the background, I had armored thrusters, and the third one, which is what I just put in, which is the sensors, uh, which is directly from Keen Swift itself. So there you have it all set up and everything like that. But... I have included no other mods, and if you look right here, this is the uh, this is the actual fighter cockpit everyone's been using from Darth Biomech, and they have officially introduced it into the game. So now it's actually a working piece for the entire game. It, it's right here, right there, and it fits right in. If I can get it in. Gonna get rid of all that. Bam. See, brand spanking new. It's the same exact thing. Looks, it's awesome that it's finally in because they finally put that in. Uh, this is for an example of a new mod they've also put in. But as you can see, I put Darth Biomex. Uh, fire cockpit in, which is really sweet. We're all very happy about that. Everyone who's been playing this game, everyone's super stoked to finally have that involved, because it's such a such an awesome uh, cockpit to have in here. Like, why wouldn't you? I mean, look how much better these things look with his with this cockpit in here. And you can always adjust the shape, and you can make it fit better, and it just ah, it looks so cool. I'm so happy. Uh, but the next thing that is up for the update is these right here. So first, I'm going to go through, add some things. Um, oh, and that exploded. So let's put that down so that it actually fits. All right, so these are new rocket pods. Let me put some gyroscopes on this bad boy. Oh, if I can fly. So these are new rocket pods. They're actually reloadable rocket pods. And I didn't set those up correctly. Yeah, and so it's a new it's a new take on rocket pods. So you can see there's two different kinds. We do have two different forms. I'll put out the other one as well. So then you can see the big difference between the two. If I can find it. There. Yep, I found it. Don't worry. I got it. As you can see, there's two different rocket pods. There's the single rocket pod, and now there's these doubles right here. So, we'll hop on in, and then we'll get this thing set up. And firing is the same. 
So it still clicked that button. As you can see, the rocket pod on the left actually fires in a focus setting, whereas the new reloadable rocket pod actually doesn't fire as concentrated, but it still fires. And as you can see, my other rocket pod is still firing, but that's because it takes about four seconds for the reloadable rocket pod to fully reload the rockets into the pods. So you can't quite spam it as much, but it is a great survival tool. So then you can load it up and you can have them on your ship, so you can load it back in. Uh, so that's a nice little thing. It's kind of a, you know, a give or take thing, where this can't load as many rockets into it. You have to load it from the front, but it is a concentrated fire. This right here can be loaded from the ship itself, but it does, uh, it does miss out on a smaller area. So it's good for long range or big areas, but, uh, you know, then there's always the old classic. So there's always going to be an advantage and a disadvantage. Uh, so let's get into one of the last things they really did for this update, which was the API. And what they did is they changed... It's, it's interesting what they did. And now it's, it allows you to mod things as you want. So let's get into this. Uh, as you can see, I only put in... I'd only put in that one. So this one we're going to call... Uh, let's do, do, do if I can get it over. Iron sensor. This one we're going to change to, if I can get it, ah, gold sensor. This all makes sense in just a moment. And then we'll do, 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 do cobalt sensor. Okay. And as I walk up to them, look at that. They all produce an, uh, an ore. And that's because they're actually setting these up so that uh, they respond to a different setup. So these come, you know, these are literally a dispensary that just pops these things out. And it's really cool that this is the idea that they're setting up so that people who are the heavy modding community now has a way to not only produce mods for this, but they can change the way blocks act and the way things move. I mean, as simple as that, I was able to produce all of this ore free of anything and it's just really cool that this is this is where we're going with space engineers this is becoming a very heavy mod um mod community look at all this so much cobalt and gold and iron and so happy but it's <clears throat> it's really nice to see that the modding community is being so um fortuitous in how their keen swift is helping them out and giving giving them the control of this game and to do what they want and make what they want and it's really cool i personally i really love that i love that they're doing that um i hope they continue to come up with more stuff that gives it more of that feel all right guys before i end this video there's one more thing i should show you besides this awesome money dispenser basically um and that's uh the new setup they do have for drones which is, it's, it's primarily for drones, but um, the best place, you can use it on ships or you can use it with drones, it's kind of up to you, but I've found the best place it works is drones, <clears throat> because the inertia dampener is a little hard to control. So as you can see right here, it says inertia dampeners, and you can turn it on and off. However you want to set it up, uh, the best way I've seen it works is if you control. And now we'll go into the remote control setup of this. And we can turn the dampeners on and off. So now, get into this goodie. As you can see, I have my old mining ship here. We'll turn the dampeners back on, and it'll slow down. Um, I think uh, with the drones, they were having some issues with uh, Zed working. Uh, but I see it seems to still work for me. But, uh, I don't know. This seems to make it a little bit easier. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. Set it up however you want. Uh, it's still pretty cool. I think it'll be useful. It'll be more useful with the drones. So they can kind of have little orbiting satellites for the drone forces where, uh, in the ships it's not going to be that big of a deal because you're going to be in heavy control of that. Uh, but yeah. That'll be it for that part of the video. And you know what? Here we go. Thank you all for joining me on this one. Uh, my name is Ray King from Send More Robots. Always remember who you are and what you are. Don't go cause any trouble out the world. And always remember, be careful when you order a salad from a pizza place, because that'll ruin you. That'll absolutely ruin you. Bye, guys. Oh, I just killed you. Nice. You jerk. <laughs>
Woo-hoo! 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 Woo-